Alright guys, today we are going to learn how to fetch some API data using React. For this project, I will be using this Chuck Norris API, it's very popular, where you can fetch some different uh, jokes from the internet regarding to Chuck Norris, I'm sure that you have heard about him. So I'm just going to give you a quick overview about this project. So. In here on the top, I have an input where I can search for a certain word. And down here, I should be able to see a joke related to this word that I'm going to search. So if I'm going to put in here, for example, music, and I'm going to put in here generate joke, I should see a joke related to music. So in here, I have whenever Chuck Norris moves from point A to point B, the Jaws music plays and no one has been able to figure out where it's coming from. <laughs> Some of these jokes, they don't make too much sense, but it doesn't matter. What we really want in here is to learn how to, um, how to fetch data from APIs using React. Okay, let's start with our project. Okay, so you could actually go in here and put some other words. It's really up to you. I'm going to show you much more as we go through. So let me just organize my windows in here. So I want this one in here. Um, I'm going to actually create a new React project. Okay, so I'm actually going to go in here to the top. So I would like you guys to open your terminal on your Visual Studio Code and navigate to a folder where you want to create your project. So I'm already in the place where I want. So I'm inside of my D folder, inside of my courses. And now I'm going to start creating a new React application. For that, first of all, you need to make sure that you have Node.js installed. So if you go onto Google and you just go on to, let me put in here, um, download Node.js, okay? You need to make sure that you have Node.js in order to start with this project, okay? Go to Node.js.org, there is a Windows installer, Mac OS, and there is one for Linux. Download the one that you want your, for your operating system and just install it. It should be very straightforward. Once this is installed, okay, if you go onto your terminal, make sure that you restart the terminal or you restart everything, make sure that uh, everything is working and just press on your terminal node-v. So if you press node-v, this will give you the current node version installed on your computer. If it comes up in here with some version, it means that you are actually have this installed. So, okay, now that I have Node.js installed on my machine, I can actually start installing my first React project. This is going to be the boilerplate for our project. Let me clear my console. And now I'm going to create a new React project. I'm going to do npx. Then I'm going to do create dash react dash app and then I'm going to select in here the name of the folder that I want to create with all my react boilerplate files. So I'm going to call these react Chuck Norris like this API. Okay, this is going to be the name of my folder react dash Chuck Norris dash API. I'm going to press enter and this should just take a couple of minutes, maybe one minute, two minutes, depending on your connection. And once this is done, we can just take a, take it from there. So I'll see you in a bit. All right. Looks like everything is installed now. I know that everything is nicely installed. So there was no problem because we can see in here this message that it says, API hacking. Okay. So everything was nicely installed. So the first thing I want to do is just open this folder that I just created. So I'm going to clear, I'm going to just shut down this terminal. I'm going to close in here, everything on my visual studio code. And I'm going to open now the folder that I just created. So I'm going to go in here, react, Chuck Norris API. And now 
when I'm in here, you guys can see on the left side, you can see all the folders and the files of this project. One of the things that I want to do, first of all, is just cleaning a bit of the code that we don't actually need in here. So, for example, I don't need this file that says app.test.js, so I'm going to right click on it, I'm going to delete it. I'm also going to increase a bit the zoom in here on this project, maybe this is too much, but we will see if we need to. Um, okay, so I delete this file, I also want to delete this logo.svg, I don't need this. There is the service worker that I don't need as well. The setup.tests, we don't need this as well. Now let's go into our index.js. There is a React strict mode in here that we don't need this for now as well. So we are just cleaning up a lot of things that we actually don't need for now for this project. So let's just clean this and this should be fine. Okay, let's save the file. Index.css, that's fine. In here, this app.css, I just want to delete everything in here for now. And in my app.js, I would like you guys to go inside of it. Let me just increase the size of this window a bit. I'm gonna delete everything from inside. And now I'm just going to put a regular div inside and with a message of Chuck Norris API. Okay, so remember guys, one of the restrictions of React is that you need to have a parent element surrounding all your code. That's why we have in here this div. Okay, inside I have a H1 and in here this is where you're going to see something on the page. So this app.js file is going to be our main file that we are going to be using throughout this project. Let me just clear in here on the top this logo because we don't need it as well. Okay. Now that I got this, let's start our React application. I'm going to go in here, open terminal, new terminal. And now I'm going to do npm start. Make sure that you are on the correct folder. Look, if you look in here onto my terminal, before I do this npm start, let me just do a pwd, which stands for printing working directory, just to make sure I'm on the correct folder for my project. So I am on the correct folder. I can do npm start to start my project. And once I do that, um, this is just a small problem in here. Let me just do this again because I had my previous projects running. Now this should be fine. Okay. It's just loading now. Um, there is a small problem in here on my index.js. Ah, because we got all of this stuff in our index.js that we don't need. Okay. Now, if I refresh the page, uh, there is still a problem in here on, ah, on the top. I forgot this as well. So I think all the rest is fine. That's it. Look, if you check in here on the top now, you got this message of saying Chuck Norris API, which is this inside of our app.js. Okay. So we just installed our project. We just did a cleanup of a lot of files and a lot of things that we actually don't need for our project. And we started our project using the command npm start. Okay, now that we got all of these up and running, we can actually stop this video. And in the next one, we are going to build the front end interface. So if you guys are not interested in that, okay, I will give you the files later on and you can just download them and just continue on the other lecture after. But if you want to learn a bit about to build this front end interface, you know, just follow the next video, of course. All right, guys, that's it for me in this video and I will see you in the next one.